Hello artists, today we are talking about some art vocab terms with our painting project today. Um, and we're actually talking about the two words tint and shade. And maybe you've heard of these before. We use shade a lot in the art room when we're talking about shading something in with a pencil. And um, this paper you can either print out or draw your own, pretty simple. Um, but I do want you to write what a shade is. And a shade is any color plus black. And so that's often how we're making our color darker. Um, and so we do have a black watercolor here we'll use. A tint is any color plus white. So if you're painting and you add white paint, that is turning that color into a shade. With watercolor, however, it's a little bit trickier because you will see on your palette, we do not have any white watercolor. How do we make watercolor lighter. I want you to take a moment to think when you've been working, what do you do to make it a little bit lighter? And if you remember that you add more water, you are correct. So I'm going to just put add more water. If you are using a different kind of paint, you might add white you're using tempera paint or acrylic, but today I will be showing you with watercolor. You are going to choose one color for the center circle, any color you like. I'm going to add some green. And that is our base color. To the shade side, I'm actually going to add a little more there. Um, sometimes for watercolor to make it darker, I might let this dry and come back with a, another layer just to uh, make that color a little more intense. Um, to mix my shade, and I do enjoy using the watercolor palette for this, I might add my color up here, like a little well. I just want a tiny bit of black. And I can add that up there to make my shade my darker green. Nice. Okay, before I um, make my tint, I'm going to make sure my brush has been well rinsed. I might even use my paper towel. I'm adding more water. And there we see a tint. It is lighter. Awesome. And so you've probably already done this. You just didn't use these words to explain. On our flower, we are going to paint the same way, but we're going to try and keep our shades uh, in here, where often our flower is cupped and can create a shadow. And we want our tints out here. So I'm going to come back to the color that I already mixed. And I'm going a petal at a time. Again, maybe I let it dry and I come back in. Mm, I like when that flows together. And as I get out here, I might not even add more watercolor and just add water. And that should dry lighter. One of the things I love about watercolor is these little puddles dry in a really interesting way and um, is what makes it so visually appealing going to mix more of my darker shade. I like that darker color. I might even add some in here. And you are going to work your way around the flower in this manner. And this is just practicing because as we paint more with watercolor, we do want to feel that we're in control. After you have finished painting your flower, please uh, take a picture and submit to this assignment. Thank you.